Hey guys, uh, just wanted to do another quick video, uh, Komodo related. This one um, is regards to the Agama wallet. I've I've actually run across people um, talking about this and just wanted to point something out uh, that a lot of people might miss when using Agama. So when you use Agama, you um, most likely are using it in KMD Lite mode, which is perfectly fine. And it's a lot faster, obviously, as it says here, starts in seconds. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate what this problem is and how to solve it. Um, so basically what people find is they create a wallet and they put their, they send their Komodo to it and then they log into their wallet and it's gone. And that's after they've had it open, they've seen it come in, transactions showed up and then they see it with nothing in there. So I'm going to show you what's actually probably 99.9% of uh, the cases out there, what's actually happening. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to just create a new wallet and we're going to use the Iguana 256. I let it create one for me and this is the seed and I'm going to just copy that um, and I'm going to put it into an actual text file so that we can, um, so I can show you later kind of what the problem is and um, how to solve it. So we'll just confirm it here. Uh, normally I wouldn't use this method by the way if you're creating a wallet for the first time and it's going to be your actual wallet I wouldn't copy and paste codes and I wouldn't save them on my computer. Uh, what you want to do is actually write this down or at worst print it. Um, I don't even like printing it to be honest but really just write it out and then use what you wrote out to go off of when you type it in here. And that lets that, that lets you know that you did it right. Um, because if it works and it lets you register, then you got it. So um, anyway, this is just for demo purposes, purposes, obviously, to show this problem and show what the fix is. Um, so I'm just doing it the quick, easy way. So I'll register this new wallet and we'll just say, yes, I've taken a backup. And let's just pay attention to the, the actual wallet address here. So I can show you how this, what generally is happening to people. And we'll paste that there. So you can see it starts with RX and it ends in QD. And then I'm going to just go ahead and, and log out of this. Uh, if I can remember how, I think it's here actually. And now I'm going to go to log in. So I want you to watch what happens as I type. Just pay attention to the cursor and the space between the letters. So. Let's say I'm typing this in, and as I should be, instead of copying and pasting it. So I'm going to put fantasy, and I'm going to do a space, and now I have to reference. And if you'll notice, the cursor jumped back after I delayed for about maybe a second or two. Um, I had put the space in, but then it jumped back, and I'll just put the space in again. It will jump back again after about two blinks or three blinks of the cursor. So a lot of times what happens is, is if somebody's referring to their seed from where they wrote it down, which is really the best way, the most secure way to do this. They're typing and then they have to catch up. So they look down and they've already done the space. And let's say you've done the next one here and you do space and you have to look down. Okay, it's an act. And then you type an act. And if you're not watching the screen, it's gonna do something like this. Or it's gonna be one character off or um, something similar. And the end result, I'll just show you. Um, is something like this when you hit sign in it will let you sign in but you'll notice it's a totally different address so it's just going to give me a totally different KMD address that is not mine obviously so a lot of what people are are dealing with when they see that problem is it just essentially means they're typing in their password wrong and it's not going to tell you that you typed in your password wrong because it doesn't know what your password is or your seed is so there's no reason for it to uh, to tell you that was wrong um, it's just going to let you go ahead and move forward. Um, I like that feature. I like that it does that. I think it's, it, to me, it's, it makes me feel better about the software, better about the security of the system. Um, the blinking thing is, you know, it moving back a space. I don't know that that's a glitch or anything like that. Um, it, it doesn't bother me because if I'm typing and I, I have to slow down, I just am not, I'm in the habit of not putting the space until I'm ready to put the next word. Um, so anyway, that's uh, just a quick video to kind of show a few people out there who have been 
concerned about their KMD wallet and wondering if they're missing their balance or they're freaking out after they saw a balance and then it showed zero. Um, most likely that's the issue. Uh, if you can verify that your address is right and it showed a balance and now it doesn't, it may just not be talking to the network. You know, that could be an internet connection. Um, and then if you sent money, if you sent KMD to your wallet from another source and you're not seeing it show up, that is either a delay or you, worst case scenario, you sent it to the wrong address. So you really, you know, always be careful when you send that you're sending to the right address, that you're sending to the wallet that you know. Um, and when you create a, a seed, you know, if you're creating a seed for the first time using a gamma and you decide I want to, I want to do a custom seed, just make sure that you really know and you've written that down. And when you confirm, it actually confirms um, so that you know what your seed is. You've tested it a couple times. You've logged out, logged back in. You see the same wallet address. And that way, you know, this is definitely the right wallet. This is where I'm sending my money to. Um, and you shouldn't run into any issues with that. So hope that helps. And uh, um, yeah, uh, have a great day, guys. And thanks for watching.